Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget, the best way to support the channel is to like, is to comment, and subscribe. Let's get to it. <laughs> okay. So, chilling with fam. Chill, chill, chill. Come up on this article that Kim is talking about possibly going on The Bachelor. So I start thinking, okay, another avenue for media attention, media manipulation, because the Tom Brady thing's not working out. The soccer guy thing, not working out. You got a guy calling her out in regards to who she is, allegedly, and what she's allegedly done in regards to the situation with Ray J. Let's move on from that. And it's funny how she keeps mentioning that on the show. So for people that keep saying, why is in this and that? She keeps talking about it. She keeps talking about it on the show. Is sales down in regards to the tape? We don't know. But the biggest thing is, I'm going to play this recording in regards to allegedly the family is talking to her about going on The Bachelor. One the guys meet and then they're having conversations about the date. They're having, the mom can't control what they're going to do on that network. The, the guys could almost literally get there, realize she's the bachelorette and walk off and say, oh no, I don't want to deal with that. Or, oh no, I don't want to be a part of that. Cause it could be almost a continuous thing that these guys could be on her show or she could use clips of them or she could use variations of them. This could be long-term for these guys being a part of her storyline. Hello. Guys could walk off and say, I don't want to deal with that. Guys could walk off and say, this is her third, third divorce. Guys could say she has four kids. Guys could say she has Kanye. You know what I'm saying? And the mom won't be able to control that. She won't be able to control what's said, done, think, or feel. She can't control another network. So she is saying she doesn't want Kim to do it. So let's play the clip and then we're going to talk. Because this is why she's doing it. Courtney's happy and married. Kanye's happy and married. These Her friends that are leaving them, around them, are happy and married. Larsa has Marcus. Um, Jordan Woods has got a great guy. So all these people that they tried to shade or do wrong, they're, they're happy. executive from Disney called me, Rob Mills. You know these people, but they wanted to call me directly and that I was going to connect them with you once I decided if I was going to do it or not. I'm going to do the show The Bachelorette. I'm so this is the biggest thing. The DM situation is not working. She needs somebody to vet people for her. Remember how she would go on she would have TMZ promoting she's looking for a guy. She would have her friends looking that she's looking for a guy. You know, every month it was something like, I'm single. I'm, this is my list. I told y'all, she's been using the media to find somebody and nobody wanted to take that on. Let's keep listening. I had to stop it and play it, stop it and play it. Y'all know how this works. I'm going to be stop the bachelorette. I'm so serious. You're going to do the bachelorette? Yes. I am. What? Gonna do the Bachelorette? Yes. Mom, Kim, 100% you're not doing that. Yes, why? There's no way. Mom, call the guy Rob. No, not happening. Nope. So let's listen in with the mom because everything normally goes through the mom. Like I said, the mom won't be able to control what's said, done, think, or feel. She won't be able to edit how she wants to edit to make her look good. The mom. Kim is kind of like her, 
oh, I'll just say it, <laughs> cash cow. So things are already going left. She goes on there. She can't control the narrative. She can't control the press. She can't control what those producers say or do. She's going to try. But the biggest thing is, it's not going to make her look that great. And the biggest thing is, why are you having such a hard time finding a good dude? Tom Brady, he was like, mm -mm, I'm not signing up for that. And even uh, Bethany Frankel says that, you know, she doesn't think that that would work out. And then there's other guys that'll say, you know, but what that one guy said a few days ago, he dragged the K's and the J's. This might be why this is being posted, but let's, let's listen in. I'm your momager, manager, mother, uh, it, name a title. I'll put any hat on that you want, but you're not doing this. And, and that the reason being is because she can't, like I said, she can't control the narrative. She will not be able to control what's said, what's done. She won't be able to control what's posted. She won't be able to control what people are saying about the show. She Kim's trying to look for a way to stay relevant. She's going to try and use the show for relevancy, period. Let's get to this clip about this guy and what they had to say about the K's and the J's. I'm going to play it till I'm blue in the face. Because sometimes you have to realize, sometimes people see our videos and sometimes people don't see our videos for a month from now. It just depends on what the topic is. So that's why I need everybody to turn on their notifications because I'm finding that a lot of newer people come are coming in and then some of the uh, subscribers are watching like the remix or the, you know, the recap of it. So, um, I have a lot of new people coming in. So a lot of times that's why I repeat stuff because it's newer people coming in. So they may not see my video from three days ago. So let's get to this clip. Let me see. Nope. That's not it. Sorry. Hold on. Ooh, sometimes I don't know which my videos are. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, I could do a real quick rant here. I'm sitting here grilling, got a little salmon on the grill. Just saw a post on Twitter, a uh, New York Post, that Tom Brady is supposedly dating Kim Kardashian. I can't have this. I can't have this. Uh, it makes me want to puke. No, I know. I now, all comments are alleged. These are his opinions, his thoughts. He going to go into a lot of stuff, and he going to say a lot of stuff. It's his opinions. I'm just recording what was said. And he has his own opinion. All comments are alleged. Don't agree with what he's saying. But many people are speaking out against the Kardashians. Now, other people in the comments were like, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, they're going to make him apologize in some way, shape, or form. Or, oh, they're going to make him work for him them in a month or two or a year. We're going to see them, him selling some of the products. They're going to go after him. Oh, man, your career's over. Many comments were kind of going in in regards to what it's going to do to him. And saying, okay, yep, I get that. Yeah, you know, uh, the legacy, what it was three, four years ago is totally different than now. Oh, the mom is so worried about fame. She's not worried about healthy relationships. The comments were going in. Let's keep listening. All comments are alleged. I'm already the same age as I am, and I have no right, who am I, to, like, talk about other people's dating game. I'm dating a girl much younger than me. People have said shit. So who am I, right? Who, who am I? Well, I'm the number one top Brady guy in the universe. He and I got, what, a combined 12 rings together? I've been in the trenches. I've gone to jail. Tom Brady can't date Kim Kardashian, okay? Kim Kardashian, listen, she's hot, she's a bazillionaire, but she's like a paparazzi girl. She f***ed on camera to get famous. Sure, she's talented, she does other stuff. She ruins every man's life she touches. She's a Daily News, a page six, a reality TV girl. Nothing. I, I'm, a, I'm. What am I? I'm nothing. She's like. I'm not saying there's something wrong with that. But you're Tom Brady. You're better than that. If you're not better than that, none of us are better than that. It just drags him. And then what? Chris Jenner is gonna be running his life. He's gonna be on Meet the Kardashians and like talking about nail polish with Scott Disick and and Kanye and that other guy uh, who keeps having the babies. Uh, the Laker guy and, and Chloe and, and this 
no, I don't want him in that world. Tristan Thompson, we're gonna be like, it's gonna be Jenner with Tristan Thompson, Kanye, the Kardashians, and Chris Jenner. I no, he's he, no, he's better than that world. Another quick list here. Who he can date? Like, oh, Dave, you got all the answers. I don't know if these women are all taken single, some are taken, but you get the point. Kardashian's an A list, but she's like a, a, a dirty A list. Allegedly. She's not the real A list. Wow. It's not Scarlett Johansson, Kara Knightley, Halle Berry, Margot Robbie, Anna de Armas, Isaac Gonzalez, Candace Swainpool, Dula Pia, Taylor Swift, Zendaya, Rihanna. Like, these are real A list. That's like who Tom Brady should be dating. He wants a f her. Go f her in a motel and, and gossip and tell your friend. Date. We're not dating the Kardashians, Tom. You're better than that. If you're not better than if you go down to that level, we all go down. Wow. We're better than that. Thanks for tuning in. All comments are alleged. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so that's it. That's the video. Um, Yeah, she's talking about going on The Bachelorette. I feel like it's for media attention, media manipulation to take away from Courtney possibly wanting her own show. Courtney, happy and married. Courtney, about to have the baby. She needs to try and up the ante of what Courtney has going on. That's all it is. Literally, that's all it is. Because what else can be done? What else can be said? These guys, if, if this is, does happen, every one of those guys need to sign an NDA, not legal advice, not legal advice, not an attorney, all those guys, in a lot of our opinion, need to sign an NDA. You can't talk about me. You can't use me on your show. You can't utilize me. If I'm in a relationship with somebody else, don't talk about me from years to come. You know what I'm saying? But well wishes. Behind the scenes, if this goes through, let's see what transpires for four months, six months, who she's going to utilize. Because how many guys are they going to send there? They send what? 15 to 20 guys, she could literally create alleged storylines for almost six months, just utilizing, oh, this guy was so cute. The guy in the blue suit really was nice. Oh, the guy in the blue suit gave me a note. It could be, it could go on and on and on. And then possibly to have her cameras there too. Mm -mm. Well wishes. Let me know in the comments how you feel about her possibly going on. What do you think? Okay, so why do you think she's going on? One, because she's having a hard time finding a good quality guy. Two, do you think it's for media attention, media manipulation? Do you think it's to try and make Kanye Pete jealous, even though they're happy in, in other marriages? Or do you think it's because to shift away from all the stuff that's going on in regards to Kanye, in regards to her in North, in regards to her being a good parent, bad parent? Is it to try and shade Courtney and try and up the ante? For media attention, clicks, and views because they're getting so much bad press. It's not even stuff that we're trying to do. It's just that they're not making themselves look good. Their team, the team, everybody keeps saying it's time for a new team. It's just a mess. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. Everyone, have a great day. Focus on healthy, safe relationships. I already gave you guys the numbers. Let me know in the comments how you feel and what she's trying to do it for. True love. Because, mind you, I don't know where that one video is. Do y'all remember when she was sitting there talking about, um, oh, Courtney and Travis was already trying for a new baby. Oh, babies are forever, but guys are for, you know, babies are forever, but a, a, a husband or something could be for a short time. And, oh, you know, a four times a charm for me. You know, I'm trying to find true love. And then she has a sit down with her girlfriends. We're not even hearing about the girlfriends and what their needs and wants. She's sitting down with her girlfriends telling them what her list is. Healthy teeth. If, if she almost has to pay for it. Good hygiene. What was she saying about Kanye and Pete? You know, people were kind of like, she's throwing shade. But the biggest thing is she's been trying to find a date and a good dude for a good six months, eight months. Real talk. Everybody's so concerned about the media attention, media manipulation, and them them being a storyline, period. It is what it is. It's not something that we're making up. It's just that the K's and the J's from two, three years ago is a total different shift. Everyone says an end of an era. 
But if she goes on, can she find true love? Can she find a decent dude? Or will this be to go on and then walk away with no one? And then don't they have like little sweets where they hook up or possibly hook up or whatever? Mm -mm. Thanks for tuning in. Everyone have a great day.